Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Monday, 19th March 2018. I'm Fredicia Liburd. And here we are, very exciting today with the well flowing, on, flowing coming on very nicely. Uh, high temperatures are, are coming along and plenty of steam coming up from the resource. Uh, very excited to see this. Uh, plenty of energy and and has gone into this project and to achieve uh, what's culminating here today. So we're very, very happy to be here and uh, to make this come, become a reality. Uh, the resource so far is, it, it, it looks very promising. Uh, high temperatures down at resource, uh, at commercial grades to, to produce power. Uh, right now we're, we're preparing to go in and measure those to quantify uh, how much resource it is and uh, how best to develop the resource here. Robert Stacy, Senior Reservoir Engineer for Geothermics, the company contracted by the Nevis Renewable Energy International, NREI, to test the status of the geothermal test well at Hamilton. On Friday, 16th March, a team from the Department of Information visited the site where an elated Chief Executive Officer of Thermal Energy Partners, Bruce Cartwright, says they have waited on behalf of the people of Nevis for five years to get to the well testing stage. He described the project as a difficult but a rewarding one. It's been a tough uh, project to work on. We know that the people of Nevis have been waiting 10 years to see this flow rate that's behind us. This will transform the island. This is the most exciting test that you can imagine. You can see the steam behind us. This is flowing at a rate that demonstrates to us that this is a commercial scale geothermal reservoir that is beneath the island of Nevis. This will supply the electrical energy needs for the entire island. So we're very pleased to see this. Again, long road to get here, but this is the success story that you see in the steam coming off the reservoir. As of Monday, March 19th, 2018, the test results at Hamilton continue to hold steady with surface reading temperatures of 255 degrees Fahrenheit, steam temperatures of 411 degrees, and well temperature readings of over 400 degrees. McLevin Truss, Nevis Renewable Energy International's local rep, who was also on the scene, said he was excited that they had arrived at a two-phase system producing both water and steam. He said he looked forward to the geothermal project becoming a reality. NREI was contracted by the Nevis Island Administration to harness the island's geothermal energy. Today, the 2003 World 100-meter champion Kim Collins paid a courtesy call on the Minister of Sports in the Nevis Island Administration, the Honorable Eric Evelyn, in his office at the Administration Building in Charlestown. And we would have had some brief discussions this morning in terms of the way forward for athletics in Nevis. I personally, as the minister, would like to see our athletes going further. We need to put more athletes on the international stage as Kim would have, have gone there, and I believe that we here in Nevis can use the expertise of Kim and his wife to put our athletes on the international stage, to get more out of our athletes. Of course, we know that we have the new Mondo Track facility, and we have quite a bit of potential and opportunity with that facility, and we believe here in Nevis that we can use the expertise of Kim and Paula to get more out of our athletes and to get our athletes here in Nevis to go further. So once again, I'm so delighted that um, Kim and Paula would have um, seen it fit to pay a courtesy call on me this morning. And I think that this will be the start of great things to come, of great partnerships between my ministry and uh, the Collins. The five-time Olympian in delivering remarks expressed his eagerness in working with the minister and, by extension, the people of Nevis. We want to say thank you for the invitation and we really do appreciate coming here and exchanging words. And we know you're very enthusiastic about sports in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. So we're looking forward to hearing from you and working with the people of Nevis and seeing um, the way forward. And with the likes of um, Mr. Queeley, we're hoping to see him on the track doing great things for Nevis. Wife of the track star Paula Collins also expressed her gratitude to Honorable Evelyn. Thank you for having us here. It's a pleasure. And like Kim has expressed and Queely, think the, ne the Nevisians are very passionate about sports. And I know that with you at the head and based on what we've heard, 
it's going to be a new day, a new, a new dawn in sports. So we just congratulate you again and the efforts that you've taken and, you know, just to meet with us and to see what we have to offer. Evelyn noted that the meeting was made possible by a friend of the Collins in the person of Royston Queeley, an upcoming track star who was also a part of today's meeting. The Department of Education is informing the public that registration for booths for the 2018 Interprimary Championship on March 28th is now open. Persons can visit the Department of Education at Marion Heights to register. The department is operating on a first-come, first-serve basis. The vendors are reminded that the Interprimary Championship is a child-friendly, no-alcohol event. Still to come, nationals urge to apply for scholarship to attend October 17th to 20th One Young World Summit in the Netherlands. The details after this break. I cannot miss this festival this year. I gotta be there. Gotta be there. Known as Uwali, land of beautiful waters by its native inhabitants and later nicknamed Queen of the Caribbean by British settlers, Nevis has long relied on its natural prowess and resources to create livelihoods for its people. The people of Nevis have long remained connected to the gifts nature has bestowed. As an ambassador of this majestic island, it is my duty to encourage my people to nurture, preserve, and protect what makes us unique as a people and strong as a country. Welcome back. The management and staff of the Department of Social Services wishes to advise the public that the offices at Park Range, Lower Stony Grove, Charlestown and Springgates West Government Road, Charlestown, will be closed on Tuesday, March 20th, 2018 from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. in celebration of World Social Work Day. Young nationals in St. Kitts and Nevis are encouraged to apply for a scholarship to attend the annual One Young World Summit that will be held in Hague, the Netherlands, from October 17th to 20th, 2018. According to its official website, the summit began in 2009 and brings together the most valuable young talent from global and national companies, non-governmental organizations, universities, and other forward-thinking organizations. The all ban non scholarship will, en will enable the successful candidate to participate in this conference where they would debate pertinent global issues in order to formulate and share innovative strategies that will help to create positive change. They will also network with peers and make lasting connections. Applicants must be aged 18 to 30, have a passion for world issues, and be a holder of a valid St. Kitts and Nevis passport. The scholarship covers the cost of travel, airfare, to and from The Hague, access to the summit, hotel accommodation, catering, which includes breakfast, lunch, and dinner, transportation to and from the hotel to the summit, and the handouts and other support materials. The Department of Youth Empowerment has encouraged persons to seize the opportunity to attend the conference, noting that it has the potential to be a life-changing event. Interested individuals can learn more about the summit by visiting the link on your screen. To apply for the All Ban and Scholarship, visit www.oneyoungworld.com forward slash All Ban and Scholarship 2018. The application deadline is Monday, April 2nd, 2018. That's how we end this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Liburd. Thank you for viewing. As a fisherman, I use the marine resource wisely so I can conserve our biodiversity. So I can fish for life. It's all about balance. I preserve biodiversity by the way that I farm. It 
takes care of my family. It's all about balance. I have enjoyed these seeds all my life. I do my best to conserve our biodiversity because I want my children and my grandchildren to enjoy them as much as I do. It's all about balance. I'm a park ranger and my job is to properly manage our protected areas and conserve our biodiversity. It's all about balance. Youth, let's play a part in conserving our biodiversity and maintaining our natural resources. It's all about balance. For life, for livelihood, for the future of St. Kitts and Nevis, let's all conserve our biodiversity and use our natural resources wisely. It's all about balance.